Hey, what's going on, people? Your boy, man, Mike, coming at you guys with a update. Man, I think this is just a wonderful night for the Alabama Crimson Tide, Roll Tide, whatever you want to call them, man. Um, Nick Saban win his sixth national championship with Alabama. I think this is one of the greatest accomplishments uh, in the history of sports. Uh, you can't doubt this, man. These guys have won six, what, six freaking championships within like a 12 14 12 14 uh, year span uh, this dude is just he's just the standard i don't think it is anybody when nick saban come knocking on your door man it's hard to turn this guy down so look at nick saban and this team he's done it with defense he's done it with offense and it's just great at what he does he's a great recruiter great coach and you cannot deny the fact that he is without a doubt all right i don't care who you think uh, may be better, they're not better than Nick Saban. Nick Saban is the guy. And I'm not even a Alabama fan. I'm a Georgia fan. This guy is the standard. You know you better bring it when you're playing against the Nick Saban coach team. So I, I got to say this, man. Najee Harris, that dude is an absolute monster, man. Um, I don't know how high he will go in the first round. I could see him going in the first round. This dude is a monster. Tonight, uh, you saw him uh, just just not only as a receiver out of the backfield, uh, which he looks absolutely incredible, but as a runner. This is this dude is absolutely again. That dude is absolutely the standard. It was like putting on. It, was, it, it honestly looked like it really looked like the old. I'm talking about old Atlanta Falcons where we were absolute horrible, okay? No talent, any of that. It looked like the Atlanta Falcons taking on the San Francisco 49ers when the 49ers were in their peak at their peak, getting destroyed. That's what it looked like tonight. These guys look like an a, a NFL team playing against a, a peewee. Like, this, this is like no disrespect to, our, to Ohio State. But today, you see from the running back, the receiver, Devontae Smith, he was absolutely dominating. Looks like he's ready, without a doubt in my mind. I think he should be the number one receiver going into the NFL draft, man. Um, hope his finger is okay, but you got Najee, man. Najee, he could do it from not only, um, you know, like I said, not only as a receiver out of the backfield, but he's a great runner. He knows how to get down. He knows how to protect himself. He's athletic. The dude is just an absolute beast. He got Devontae Smith who can run almost every freaking route. The dude was unstoppable before he went out with the with the finger or uh, hand injury. Don't know how significant that is, but I don't think it should um, you know, harm his draft stock. I, this dude is just an absolute beast. Uh, Mac Jones, again, I think a lot of people... I'm trying to figure out, is he a first-round pick? I think he solidified himself at least uh, mid-round. And uh, I would say mid-round a little first round. First round. I think he's mid-level first round. Um, a first-round pick. The dude reminds me a lot of Matt Ryan. Doesn't have the biggest arm. He has enough strength. He's accurate. He's decisive. He's poised in the pocket. And, you know, he doesn't have the greatest speed, but he has enough to get away. And that, like I said, that reminds me of Matt Ryan. He is, you know, when I look at him, he looks like a Matty Ice. He looked like a Matt Ryan clone. So with that being said, man, I think he's going to move up uh, in the first round. Uh, I think he's going to move up a lot of people draft boards and keep a close eye on him. Um, but this, this team, Alabama, man, just what a great, great year. A great offense. Steve Sarkis is head to Texas. Um, you got Bill O'Brien coming in. Um, he's going to be the offensive coordinator for Alabama, man. And I just think this is just uh, a, a great game. Again, Ohio State is no slouch. They definitely have talented guys. Uh, I don't know how the hell you say his name, but I'm just say Olive, 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 or Olive. I think he's a very talented receiver. He's going to be taken in the first round at some period, at some point in time. Um, I really like what he do. But tonight, man, got to say this about Justin Fields. I just don't think the guy has a um, superstar written over him. He needs a lot of help with his consistency. Yeah, he played well, but that's that's the thing about 
you know, he played okay. He played well enough to put up some points on the board. But the issue with me, and it continues to be an issue for me, is his consistency as a thrower. We saw it tonight. Inconsistency um, with his accuracy, some bad decisions. Um, he has to know when to just go down. That's another thing that, you know, that bothers me. I'm um, looking at Justin Field. He just doesn't know when to call it. Like, you got to as a quarterback in the NFL, you're going to get hit by these big 300 pounds. And a lot of these guys are like 300 pounds. They're running, you know, a, a four, 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 five. These guys are huge. These guys are big. And you can't um, take a lot of those hits. So me, I'm just going to say this about Justin Fields. If I were him next year's draft, 2022, I would go back to Ohio State and work on my accuracy. He does. He has great physical attributes, a big arm, but his consistency um, as a thrower, with his accuracy, his you know, poise in the pocket, I, I don't think he is worth a top five pick. But if there's someone, if they have it on good authority that a team really wants to take him at, um, you know, fourth or fifth, you know, in the first five or ten. Uh, he's going to come out. But me, personally, if I were him, I would definitely go back to school, play another year uh, at Ohio State, and work on my accuracy because I don't think he's an accurate quarterback. Um, that's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think about this national championship. Um, to be honest, it was entertaining for the first what quarter and a half, and then Alabama – their talent, they just took over, man. That's what the Nick Saban team does. Let me know what you guys think about this. Leave your comments below. But your boy, Mad Mike, is out, man. Peace.